so online basics an entrepreneur must know so first is it's about hosting so hosting is a platform where your website is being hosted so if you have your own website so this website needs to be hosted somewhere so there are various uh, service providers uh, in the market who will give you these hosting services so you should be aware about the uh, of these various hosting service providers next is about cost of acquisition so as an entrepreneur you should understand or you should know that what is the cost of acquisition of your customers so that is the cost required for marketing to acquire one customer here i have i will explain a very simple example to understand the cost of acquisition so take an uh, example wherein your product is of an average value of 1000 rupees the ad spent on uh, to sell uh, a campaign or maybe uh, the ad spent on a campaign is around 10000 the revenue that you generated from this campaign was of 25000 and the customers that you acquired were 25 so the cost of acquisition of this campaign will be the total ad spent divided by the total cus- uh, total customers that you acquired so the ad spent was 10000 and customers that you acquired were 25 so the cost of acquisition is 10000 divided by 25 that's 400 and the gross value earned so since your product average value is is 1000 so from this the cost of acquiring a customer was 400 so now what is the gross value that you are earning that is 600 that's 1000 minus 400 you're left with 600 so it is very important to evaluate the cost of acquisition uh, in an online business next is about uh, conversion so when we talk about an online business conversion does not always mean that you are converting it into a sale so what does this conversion mean so a conversion means uh, it occurs when your website visitors complete a desired call to action so there are different call to action that is being defined in an online business and if someone is uh, achieving that call to action it is called as a conversion i'll explain you with a few example now filling out a form on your website so if a visitor is coming to your website and and if he is filling the form and uh, he, once he clicks submit so that is also called as a conversion buying your products or services by downloading your ebook so someone is buying your products or services online of course that is also a conversion uh, that is a very common term of conversion now someone is coming to your website and is downloading an ebook and while before downloading downloading the ebook they are giving you the data of uh, their name mobile number email id so again this is also known as a conversion subscribing to your newsletters again it is called as a conversion and someone is coming to your social media page or if they are coming to your uh, website and from there if you have a button um, which says that make a phone call and once they click on that button a phone call is being initiated to your sales team so that is also called as a conversion so when it comes to an online space it is very important to understand the objective of conversion so when you are talking to your digital marketing agencies or when you are trying to implement digital marketing strategies so this term will be used a lot by your agencies uh, so you should understand that when when they are talking about conversion so what is the objective of this conversion is the objective of this conversion is to achieve direct sales or is the objective of this conversion is to extract data is the objective of this conversion is to maybe uh, download an ebook so every conversion will have an objective so you should be very clear with that objective then uh, next uh, terminology which is being widely used in the online space is impressions so impressions are the total number of times your content could have been seen so if you go to your uh, when you create a campaign on social media so you will get this analytics of impressions so that means that how many times your ad was seen by any user on the social media 
it even when it comes to a website you will get uh, this kind of analytics so when it comes to a website uh, again it means that how many uh, times a visitor has uh, seen your uh, has been to your website so that is number of impressions seo so this is again a very uh, common term which is being used in the online space so that is search engine optimization so in simple term to understand what is an seo so the uh, if you decode the uh, terminology that is search engine so there are various search engines today so that is google uh, which is i would say widely used search engine there are also other search engines like bling uh, which is uh, being used and uh, yahoo is also a search engine so uh, when you are uh, trying to do any uh, digital marketing activities in order to come on the first page of the search engine so that is called as an seo activity and of course google is the most widely uh, uh, you can say used uh, search engine across the globe so our focus should always be on google that how can we uh, optimize and use strategies to come on the first page of google so that's the objective of seo second is about smm so that is called as social media marketing so again here as the uh, terminology explains social media so there are various social media platforms so that is facebook that's instagram uh, there's twitter linkedin and so on so uh, the strategies that you will implement to um, ensure that maybe you are uh, increasing your community or maybe your uh, uh, community base on social media or maybe if you are trying to uh, extract sales from the social media platforms so all these strategies are uh, will be related to social media marketing so the next uh, terminology that you can see over here is the bounce rate so bounce rate is a very uh, important uh, metrics when it comes to your own website so when you have your own website you should uh, you should always study the bounce rate so bounce rate means if a visitor is coming to your website and within within few seconds the visitor will exits your website so that means a visitor came to your website and when he came to your website uh, the visitor realized that this website is not for me and immediately uh, the visitor has left uh, your website so that means your uh, bounce rate uh, so that will add on to your bounce rate so it is very important to have a low bounce rate because uh, if you have a high bounce rate so that means the activities or the strategies or the marketing activities that you are implementing you are not able to attract the right target audience you not attracting the target audience who will be interested uh, to buy your products or services so you should know your bounce rate and if your bounce rate is going on a higher side you should always talk to your uh, strategist or uh, your digital marketing agencies or you can yourself look for strategies to reduce this bounce rate that also means that you are not getting the quality uh, visitors to your website so next is uh, so this term viral so uh, again uh, in other words it is also called as trending so uh, you will always find this a uh, section maybe on twitter and even on social media and generally you will find that you know what's trending on social media i mean google will uh, gives a lot of insights on what's trending today on uh, google so uh, so that is about you know the viral topics on maybe the trending topics so you should always be aware of what's trending in the market on social media on google so that whenever uh, if you want to uh, design any digital marketing strategies you can design it across these trends that's happening now so these were a few um, terminologies that is being used in the online space and every uh, entrepreneur should be aware of these terminologies